Travis here, Barna Parts, doing a little uh, installation uh, overview video for the uh, MPS kit for the Delta Box chassis. Uh, as you can see here, the kit's going to come with some tie rods, some miscellaneous hardware, and your, your two MPS arms. One thing to note about the uh, hardware, there are two different size cotter pins. The uh, smaller of the, of the two sizes are for these here bolts. They have a smaller hole drilled in them. Um, then the other two larger ones are for your uh, tie rod attachment bolt. Um, <clears throat> when, you're, uh, when you first go to install the uh, MPS arm, uh, there is a left and a right. So this here would be a right hand setup as seated on the machine. So this, this smooth edge got, has to go to the outside of the sled. Um, so basically when you, when you fit this up, you're gonna first find there's a little bit of interference. Uh, there's this cast line right in the center of the uh, of the OEM arm here. So you're gonna want to kind of line it up and just kind of mark roughly where these where these MPS arm tabs are gonna interfere. And you're just gonna take a hand file and just lightly file that rib uh, down so you get it flush so you can so you can get the MPS arm on there nice and snug. Uh, just take your time and use a hand file. Don't don't take a grinder to it. You'll probably take too much material off too fast, and then you'll have a have a uh, too loose of a fit. Um, so as far as attaching the arm, uh, we give you this this bolt here. You'll put the spacer in the top, a washer, and then your castle nut and a cotter pin on the bottom, and then for the tie rod attachment. You use your original bolt that's uh, that comes on your sled, and that washer underneath the end, and then your your nut, and then you can use the new uh, cotter pin that we provide for the for the, the bolt. Um, the arm has three different holes in it, uh, as shown in this this image here. This would be the easiest steering possible with the kit. Um, so you can play around with the three different settings. Uh, to see what you like best. Uh, one note, important thing to note with the tie rods, uh, the bend, you know, goes towards the uh, the outside. You know, you can see there's a longer, straighter section here that goes on the inside, and the bend's closer to the outside of the sled. And once it's installed and you have your alignment set up, it's important to note that the the bend in the tie rod has to face forward, just as it is here, as I'm showing you. Um, and that should pretty much cover it. It's a rather rather easy installation. It's not a major project. Uh, you will have to get your air box out and your battery out so you can get down in underneath to access this end of the tie rod connection under the in the bulkhead area there. But uh, if you run into any problems or got any questions when you're installing it, don't ever hesitate to contact me.